So Josh, um, three 0 defeat. What what were your thoughts? Well, it's just sending off to kill the game, isn't it? So I think there was nothing in the game. What twenty five minutes, and then we give a stupid, stupid red card. Just stupid red card. Nothing else I can say about it. And then the first goal is a decent strike. The second goal, we give them stupid pass inside, and they've scored from it. And it's it's, it's tough to come here um, with ten men. Simple as that. And they're a good side. They play they play decent football. But what I would say is I was proud of the lads in the second half. Thought they were resilient. They got on the ball. They played. They were brave on in possession. They worked hard. They worked their absolute socks off. And I was, I was really proud of them in the second half. And I want to say as well, credit to the fans. They stayed, clapped us, they sang all, all the game. Even when we're three 0 down, they clapped us off at the end. And they're just brilliant. Did you think it was a centre? Yeah, it was 100. percent He did one just before it, and I told him just to clear the ball, and he didn't. And he tried it again, rather than just heading it back or clearing it. He's, he's tried to be cute with it, I suppose. And it's a red card. Simple as that. I suppose that's the second time he's been sent off against top three sides. Oh, it happens to him. <laughs> it's just unlucky for him. So yeah, I know he's upset about it. Of course he will be. Uh, Jamie come on and did well, to be fair to him. But you know you can't play against these sides and, and go down to ten men. And going down to ten men, you made the change for Egan on, and then there's a wonder strike, which probably is, you would least. No, you, can, you can't do anything about it. You know it's a great finish. Um, nothing you can do about it. A second is easily avoidable. It's just it's a pass inside, a poor pass inside to their man, and they've kind of scored from it. So, you know, it is one of them. And then when you 2-0 down, it's an uphill battle, isn't it, with 10 men? So it's always difficult. But no, like I said, second half, I was just really pleased with what I saw. The character of the boys, um, the resilience, you know, they pushed on. Obviously, they're going to create a few chances. We had a, some chances in the second half, to be fair to us. Miles has got one there. Probably, probably could have another touch and then go in. But, yeah, it is what it is. The send-off kind of sparked it in like before that, there was nothing in the game. And then well, that's the thing. That, were, yeah, I mean, when we played at, their, when we played at our place, we, um, I thought we were the better side. Uh, today, 25 minutes, nothing in the game. I thought we've had a few good opportunities as well. And then, I mean, even with 10 men after when they scored, you know, Magic's had one where, you know, if he keeps it down, he scores. So there was nothing in the game. But like I said, you get a man sent off, you go down to 10 men against these, it's difficult. And you made the change at half time, got Miles on, and um, he, he had a big impact in the game. Yeah, I mean, Mo's not played a lot of football, so, you know, he's always going to be a bit leggy. And obviously, going down to 10 men, we just needed that bit of energy. We kept. Lying on for his legs and and obviously miles on at half time just flat pace and behind and I thought he caused them a few problems. I'm not sure how overall results went today, but obviously you, you probably a little bit behind the playoff chase now going to Chester. Well, we're not behind the playoff chase. We were a point behind before going into the game, so I don't think it's too far away. But you know, you go Chester and you got Southport and Curzon. So, you know, then we get, we're right back in the mix, or Curzon Southport, shall I say. And then we're right back in the mix. So, hey, look, what we have done is bounce back from, from adversity. And I said to the lads there, remember this. Listen to them, listen to them chanting, and, and we'll remember it. And when we play them again, it'll be a different story. Because it was a really good atmosphere. Both sets of fans were really going Yeah, forward. listen, I played here. I captain here. Um, I know what their fans bring. Um, they're a great group. You know, they'll sing all game. Uh, it's a good football club, so we know what they bring. But like I said, our fans, it's a different class. You know, down to you know, three 0 down, down to ten men. They're keeping the ball. Our fans are cheering, clapping, banging the drum, and that's what our fans are about. So I'm, I'm proud to be a part of this football club. And you have the same, hopefully, same against support at Chester because you'll probably you'll need them on Saturday. Hopefully not against ten men. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, we need them 100%. We'll go away to Chester and you know we'll lick our wounds and go again. Um, it's not many times this season we've lost three, is it? So. Yeah, we've got to go again. Uh, Chester was the turning point of our season last year, wasn't it? So, um, you know, we've got to go there, fresh faced, go again. You know, we'll, we'll work in training on Thursday. Um, um, I'll say you put wrong as well, you can't really do much about that, to be honest. So, so yeah, we'll go again. Some demons to put to bed from last season at Chester. I know, there's a few demons in that place. Could give you nightmares now, I'm joking. No, no, hey, it turned our season last year when we went there and, and then we went on a good run. And, you know, obviously we got to the, the trophy final and obviously we were pushing for playoffs last year. So, yeah, um, it's, it, we're in a different place now. Obviously, we played them once already and, and won. So, you know, now we want to go away from home and put on a good performance after that and, and, and go get a victory. And it gives Jamie even a chance to, to stay good place in the, the team again. Yeah, it does. Um, we, we, we've kept him for another month now. So he's with us. Um, him and Ben have got a good partnership together. So, I mean, they did well to the bit today. We won't find much of a tougher test than that, to be honest. So, yeah, they've got a great opportunity. Sam's been excellent. Skip was brilliant today. Thought he got forward well. He linked up, especially in the second half. His energy levels were unbelievable and he pushes the lads on. So, to a man, I was just really pleased with the second half performance.